President George A. Smith read Section 12 of a revelation given to Joseph Smith January 19, 1841, wherein the Lord told the saints that certain ordinances must be attended to in a temple reared and dedicated for that purpose. The revelation was given in connection with the Nauvoo Temple. The same revelation informed us that if a people should go to work with all their hearts to do a work, and their enemies came upon them and hindered them, the Lord would not require that work of them and he would visit the enemies of his saints with his indignation and judgments. The speaker then related circumstances connected with the building of the Nauvoo Temple, how the saints completed the structure, and of their being driven from their homes. The revelation did not, however, end with the completion of the Nauvoo Temple, for God's people were always commanded to bring a holy house to the Lord. It appeared that, when energetic efforts were put forth, the building of the temple in this city, the energies of the saints almost invariably stirred up some persecution against them. President Smith then described what had been done in the matter of forwarding the work on the temple, and showed the absolute necessity of the work being prosecuted vigorously, and of each Latter-day Saint aiding liberally in forwarding it. He next detailed what had been done in the building of the St. George Temple. It was absolutely necessary that additional means should be obtained to continue the work on both buildings at the same ratio it had been progressing at for some time past. The brethren must either make a united effort to push forth forward the work, or it would be necessary to discharge a number of the public hands. The speaker did not believe that the Lord would justify the saints if they were slow in building those temples, and those who would contribute to that most excellent work would be blessed, for the people of God were always commanded to build houses to his holy name. The remarks of President Smith were mainly devoted to the necessity of paying tithing and contributing in every possible way to the building up of Zion, and were very pointed and instructive.